Hello, my name is Bill. I operate and own Bill's IT Solutions, and today I'm going to be showing you how to optimize and increase the overall performance of your Windows 10 operating system. And we're going to get right into it here. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, where you have the little Windows icon, and we're going to go where it says to type here to search, uh, and we're going to type in settings. And it'll be the first one that pops up, the trusted Microsoft Store app settings. We're going to go ahead and left-click that. And you should see a screen that looks a little bit something like this. And the first one we're going to go in and change is the system display notifications right here. We're going to go ahead and left click that. We're going to go to the notifications and actions screen. It's on the left hand side. You have lots of options here. In this window, we're only going to be working with two of them. We're going to be working with the notifications and actions and the power and sleep. But we're going to start with the notifications and actions first. So go ahead and left click that. And you're going to see something like this. You're going to have a lot of this stuff on. We're going to start from the bottom uh, to avoid a, a bug that I've seen in other computers, uh, where if you hit this first button, even though it turns these off and grays them out, sometimes it doesn't actually turn them off. That's why we're going to start from the bottom here. I'm just going to go off, 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 and off. Now, um, for the average end user, everything I'm going to show you is not going to affect your everyday life. Um, if you are on a business machine or you get notifications or startup programs for certain things, uh, you might want to not do some of the things I tell you to do. Um, so that way, you, it's nothing that's going to harm. You're not going to be deleting or removing anything. It's simply disabling things from running in the background or running on startup. Uh, but some programs you might need for that. So I'm just recommending that you read carefully what I'm doing. Uh, but for the average end user uh, that just checks their email, uh, plays games and stuff like that, don't worry about any settings changes you're making. It will not affect your everyday life. So that's all we're going to be doing in this notifications and action screen. We're going to go ahead and go to the power and sleep screen now. Uh, now, as far as the power and sleep screen goes, uh, some little information I'm going to give you here, um, whether you deem it necessary or not, I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, for some of you that don't know, if you have a higher machine, you got like a 1,000 watt power supply, or if you have a 500 watt power supply, uh, that computer is not using that power. Um, it's always in an idle state when you're not utilizing it, and it will not utilize a massive amount of power that's not necessary. So it's not using 1,000 watts or 500 watts every waking second of the day. Um, it's only utilizing that power when you ask it to. Uh, so don't think too much of, you know, when you put it to sleep or hibernate or anything like that. You're not going to see your power bill hike through the roof. Um, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to ignore this stuff unless you want to make changes to that. And we're going to go down to where it says related settings. And we're going to click on additional power settings. Now, some of you aren't even going to have that high performance option. And those of you that don't have this high performance option are the laptop users. And laptop users, I'm going to show you how to get that high performance option. Go ahead and ignore, um, if you have a Lenovo or HP or, or you're using the Energy, Energy Star, go ahead and ignore those settings um, and just make sure you enable the high performance setting. It's not going to uh, hurt your computer in any way. Uh, some of you might see a change in, in battery life or battery expectancy. Um, but the primary concern here is speed performance and utilizing your computer to its its 100%, its full capacity, um, so that way you actually get what you paid for or what you had built for. Um, so for desktop users, just go ahead and click high performance, and that's it, you're done. For laptop users, however, we're going to have to go down here to where it says type here to search, again, and we're going to type in CMD, and you're going to click on command prompt, but we're going to right click it this time and hit run as administrator to make sure that these changes that we're making stick. And we're going to go ahead and hit yes. This isn't anything that's going to harm your computer. Don't worry. Just go ahead and hit yes. And you're going to see a screen like this. Now, just to show you how this command works. Now, so laptop users, you won't even have this high performance setting. So what we're going to do to get you that high performance setting, since it's already built into the operating system, is we're going to need a, a, a command prompt command. And I already have it open here. Um, if you have a photographic memory, that's fantastic. For those of you that don't, I'm going to leave this command in the comments section of this video. So we're going to go ahead and highlight this, and then we're going to right-click it, and we're going to copy it. And that's as simple as that to get that copied to the clip clipboard. I'm just going to move this out of the way. And then we're going to go back to the command prompt, and we're just going to right-click in this command prompt, and it'll paste it right in there for you. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and hit Enter, and as you saw at the top, it switched my balanced power mode to the high performance mode. And for laptop users, it actually added the high performance mode setting uh, to your power configuration. And now your computer is going to be operating at full capacity. Um, and for those of you that are using a laptop and you feel like it's slow, this is probably going to make the largest difference out of all the changes we're going to be making today. 
So that's it for that. We're going to go ahead and close these two windows out now. You don't need to save anything. It already saves. And uh, we're going to go back to the screen we were on originally. So all the way to the top where it says Home, just go ahead and click on Home. And we're going to get back here to this screen. Next up, we're going to be going to the personalization settings here. Go ahead and left click on that. The first thing we're going to go to is the lock screen. Now you're going to see that Windows Spotlight is enabled. Now this is something that, again, uses up internet speed um, and uh, increases startup time, which is not something that we want, not something that really anybody wants. So where it says background, little drop down menu, just go ahead and hit picture. Uh, you can pick whatever, you can add your own pictures, you know, pictures of your kids, uh, you know, your wife, your girlfriend, whatever. Um, or you can just choose one of the generic photos for the time being, uh, entirely up to you. Uh, you're going to go ahead and uncheck this box here. You're going to go ahead and turn that off. Uh, show lock screen, go ahead and turn that off. So the picture would be redundant anyway. It'll only show for like 0.1 milliseconds. Uh, but it just, just is all decreases the startup times. Now the other change we're going to be making is to the uh, start menu. Now if you utilize these live tiles, or you actually utilize a start menu, but I've noticed a lot of people don't know what it is or, or utilize it, at least with my primary clientele. So I just go ahead and go ahead and turn all this stuff off. And the reason for this being is because you have something called live tiles in Windows 10. And these live tiles are actually running background programs. So just to show what you have here, after I've disabled all that stuff, you have a little bit simpler screen here. But if you turn it all on, you can see the difference. So if you have all this stuff on, you'll see the, uh, the recently added apps list. And you'll have this uh, program list if you don't have desktop shortcuts for them. But for the most part, you want to disable all this stuff. And then just for settings purposes, I've added these two programs here, uh, my repair programs that I use for the most part. And where it says Mini Tool or Rufus, you're going to probably have, uh, you know, Mickey Clubhouse or, uh, or Castle Defender or, or Minecraft. Uh, they might have a bunch of pre-installed bloatware. You're just going to want to right click on all of those and hit unpin from start and unpin from start to get rid of those uh, live tile running background programs. This is a very minor change, but as a collective, everything I'm telling you how to do does make a difference in the end here, and you will see it, um, especially for those of you on lower end machines. So that's it for the personalization screen. We're gonna go back home again, and then we're gonna go to the privacy settings here on the bottom. Now you're gonna see the general tab first. You're going to have all four of these boxes checked on. Go ahead and check them all off. It's uh, it's just, you know, relevant ID, make ads more interesting. Uh, it's basically just them tracking you. So go ahead and just turn all that off. There's other settings here you can fiddle around with if you want to read through them, if you want to disable your camera, if you're worried about security, uh, you can do that. But for, for I'm focusing on performance and optimization for you right now. So in the general tab, make sure you have these four settings turned off. All right, then we're going to go all the way down here. Now you could use this bar, you could use your scroll wheel to scroll down. Uh, just make sure your mouse is over here. And we're going to go to Feedback and Diagnostics. Now in here, we're going to click on Basic. You're going to make sure this is turned off. And make sure where it says Feedback Frequency is set to Never. Now we're going to stay right here. And right beneath Feedback and Diagnostics, we're going to go to Background Apps. And where it says Let Apps Run in Background, go ahead and hit Off. Now for some of you, this could take upwards of two to three, five, uh, I've seen it take uh, up to seven or eight minutes at most um, for lower end machines. Do not worry, your computer isn't frozen. It's just if you have a lot of background programs running currently, it's going to take a few minutes for it to disable all of them and turn them off. Uh, so don't be worried about that. Just go ahead and give that a second to happen. And now we're done in the privacy section. So we're going to go ahead and close this out now. Now we're going to go all the way down back to the type here to search menu and we're going to type in control panel. And we're going to go ahead and left click on control panel. Now don't be alarmed if you don't see a screen that looks like this. It might look like this or it might look like this. So to get the screen that uh, I'm going to explain to you how to navigate, we're going to go where it says view by and just hit that drop down menu with a left click and then left click category and it should look just like my screen here that I'm showing you. So we're going to go to System and Security, and then we're going to go to System, and then we're going to go over here to the left to Advanced System Settings. And now you're going to have this window pop up. We're only going to be operating in the Performance section. We're not going to be making any other changes here. Um, so just go to where it says Settings, and left-click on that. And you're going to be on Let Windows Choose What's Best for My Computer. Now, of course, Windows doesn't always know what's best, so we're going to go ahead and hit Adjust for Performance. Uh, now, for those of you with, uh, once you hit adjust for performance and hit that box, you have to hit apply, otherwise it won't make the changes. It's one of the few times you actually have to hit apply. Um, and then go ahead and hit OK. You can close out that system properties and you can close out that control panel window. 
Now for those of you that had pictures right on your desktop, you'll notice right away that you no longer have uh, the picture icon showing. You just have uh, an actual image icon from the application that can run them. Now to fix that, we're going to go down here where it says type here to search again, and we're going to type in File Explorer. Go ahead and open up File Explorer, and then we're going to go to View. It's right at the top here where it says File, Home, Share, and View. We're going to click on View. Then we're going to go all the way to the right to where it says Options. And click on that. Not the drop-down Options menu. You want to click directly on the Options picture itself so you can see this here. And now you have General, View, and Search. We're going to go to View. And where it says Always Show Icons, Never Thumbnails, we're going to go ahead and uncheck that box. And you should have your picture showing back up again. And that's, that's how you solve that little problem for you there. Now the next thing we're going to be working with here is the Tasks Manager. This is going to be to decrease the startup time. Uh, so we're going to go here. We're going to type in to the search bar. We're all the way. We're getting all of our all of our programs are running here from the search bar. We're going to type in Tasks Manager. It's going to be the first one. Task Manager Desktop App. Go ahead and left click that. Now your screen actually won't look like this. Um, if you've never configured it before, it'll actually look like this. A uh, very simple menu to navigate your running programs and to turn them off. So we're going to go down to the bottom of this where it says more details and click on that. And now you can actually see the current resources of your computer. Um, I might explain this stuff in a later video, but for right now we're just going to, where it says processes, performance, app and his, app history, startup, user details, all those tabs at the top. We're going to go to startup. Some of you, this might be a fairly long list and it could take a little bit. And I'm going to show you a quick way to actually disable all these at once. Um, but you can go through each and every single one and hit disable. You can hit disable, you can hit disable, hit disable. Uh, but you just have to go through each one and highlight it and then go down and hit disable. Now the quick way of doing this, we're going to go ahead and close this out. Go back to the search bar and you type in msconfig. And it's going to be system configuration desktop app. Now you might think we're going to go to startup, but we're not going to. Because in Windows 10 they actually don't have this uh, menu anymore. Uh, so we're going to go to general. And where it says load startup items, if you want to disable all of your startup items at once rather than going through and disabling each and every single one of them, you can just disable that load startup items and then hit apply. And that'll disable all of the uh, all the items from starting on startup. And that's it. Uh, that's it. I hope I hope when you restart your computer, you see somewhat of a difference uh, in its speed and performance. Um, if not, I apologize, uh, but I, I do this on every customer's computer, and everybody has always been satisfied with the speed difference it's made. Um, if you don't see too much of a difference, you have uh, you might have another underlying problem. You could have a virus. Uh, you could have a bad hard drive. But I'll show you in later videos how to identify all that stuff. But for right now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.